Hey, hey, how we doing, Flair family? This is Steven. I am coming to you live on Friday night to give you a quick demonstration on how to go from Coinbase to Spark Dex and participate in some of these juicy LP pools. Specifically, what I want to do is show you a strategy that I've been deploying, capitalizing on uh, the USDC, USDTO, or the USDTO. CUSDX that's paying 29% or paying 28% in emissions or R flare rewards, which are paid out in terms of flare tokens. So this is a way you can take your stable coin dollars and with your stable coin dollars, you can start earning flare tokens. And uh, so what I want to do today is I want to take you guys through uh, what I would say is the process of you could purchase USDC on Coinbase. So I'm going to call this my Coinbase to Spark Dex uh, walkthrough. Uh, you can take this and um, essentially there's a couple of different steps. First of all, you're going to need to make sure, you're going to need to make sure that you have some USDC and then you're going to send that USDC over to your Bifrost wallet. So choose your Bifrost wallet. And you want to choose the base. You want to choose the base chain. Okay. So choose the base chain. It's going to ask you, do does your recipient accept USDC on base? Yes, it does. So yes, it's supported. Make sure that you're sending it to base, USDC base. Okay. And then we're going to say, let's just say $100. We're going to send $100 of our available USDC. It's going to give us a preview. And then we're going to get to send it now. And it's asking me to open my Coinbase app on the mobile device uh, in order to confirm. Somehow, some way, I got set up with the two factor authentication with Coinbase. They did that automatically. So I just did that. And as you can see, if you're following along on my screen, we are now on our way to base. That USDC is on its way to base. You can see the details. It shows you the network that it's going to. It was free to send it. And it shouldn't take very long to arrive in my Bifrost wallet. Now, we send it to base. We sent the USDC to your base chain USDC account. I have Bifrost, so that's where we're going to go. Once we get it over to base <coughs> from your exchange, now we're going to go to Stargate. Now we're going to go to Stargate because Stargate is going to give us the ability to swap it from base to the Ethereum block, or excuse me, to the Flare blockchain. So you want to open up your uh, Stargate and you want to go to transfer. And then you want to go to from and you're looking for the USDC base. If you can see that right there, there's the $100 I just sent. Got there pretty quickly. And then the next one that pops up is where I want it to go to. So I'm going to go down here and look for the USDC Flare, which is USDC.E. All right. And I'm going to do max. You're going to have to have a little bit of Ethereum, and you're going to have to have some Flare in that same wallet, by the way, guys. You're going to have to have some Ethereum, and you're going to have to have some Flare tokens in that wallet. Because if you look up when you did this, we were actually on the Ethereum blockchain. So you're going to have to have Ethereum and you're going to have to have some Flare tokens in that wallet as well, or it won't let you send it. OK, so just keep that in mind. I'm going from base, I'm going to Flare and I'm doing that on Stargate, but I got to have some Ethereum. And I got to have some Flare tokens as well. So make sure you got some Ethereum and Flare tokens in that wallet where that USDC is going to when you send it from Coinbase to your wallet. Otherwise, you won't be able to move it on Stargate and swap it out for USDC E on Flare. So you can see up here in this corner, that transaction is processing pretty soon. That's going to show up in my Bifrost wallet. The USDC E will show up in my Bifrost wallet here shortly. And when it shows up in my Bifrost wallet, now we are ready to dance. Now we're ready to dance. So let's see. 
still going. We'll get a confirmation here in a second. Um, what we want to do is we want to show you how to take. There, there's our confirmation. We want to show you how to take USD, uh, USDC, a stable coin, and you can do the same thing um, with any stable coin uh, that is supported on the Flare network. So USDC we know is, <coughs> uh, USDTO is also, but that's only in Flare. So USDC is probably the best thing to be transacting with if you're going to go from an exchange to your Bifrost wallet, and you want to do that on the base chain. So send it. <clears throat> send it from the base chain uh, or to the base chain, rather, uh, when you're sending it from your exchange account, send it to the base chain, go to Stargate, which is the website I'm on right now, and take it from the base and move it on over to the USDC.E, which is the Flare version of USDC. And as you can see, I have now have $100 in here on the Flare side. So now I've taken that USDC from Coinbase, moved it over into the Flare network using Stargate. OK, so now that we've got that money over there, what we want to do, what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to put ourselves in a position to maybe participate in this particular LP pool, which is the USDTO and the USDC.E and start earning 27 point uh, eight, three or eight, five percent in terms of emissions and, uh, rewards. Okay. So what we've got to do now is we've got an LP pair. We've got to create right now. I only have a hundred dollars of USDCE. So I'm going to have to swap some of that over to the USDTO. So let's go ahead and pull up USDCE. There you go. And let's pull up the USDTO. Because that will, that will help us create the pair that we need. There goes USDT. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're going to do about half. So I'll do you know, 49 bucks, 49 bucks. Then we'll do swap. I'm going to have to confirm this in my wallet. So there we go. Okay. So I've just confirmed in my wallet. I'm swapping. About $49 of my USDCE over to USDTO so that I can create an LP pair. So let's go ahead and swap. Uh, be careful <laughs> because it will show up again, the swap, and then you end up swapping all of your USDC over to USDTO. So right now it shows I've got $49.97 for USDTO, $50 for USDCE. So I'm ready to create this LP pair. So, uh, so there's a couple ways you can do it. You can go to farm. You can go down and find the LP pair right here. You can click view. And then it's going to take you and show you that its rewards are 250 R flare. This is the one. There's a lot of them in there. This will be the one you want to get because this is the one that's paying the interest. Okay. So that's you. I'm sorry. That's USD. That's USDTO and US, CUSDX. So that is not the one. My apologies. I clicked a fat finger. So let's go back to farm. Again, there's a couple different ways to do this. Let's go back to farm or back rather. Okay. Let's go down to the USDTO and the USDCE and click view. Okay, there it is. There's 1.3 million R flare that are up for rewards. And the APR is paying the 27.85. You can see the USDTO and the USDC.E. So you want to click add. Once you click add, you look over here, you'll see you've got a dual deposit, USDTO and USDC.E. Um, it's showing you right now, it has it selected as the uh, 0 0.005. Uh, you see where it says APR boosted? That's the one you want to click because look down here. It's now showing you what your APR is. If I would have done the 0 0.05, I would have only been earning 0.77. So pay attention to this to make sure you're selecting the correct fee tier. You want the APR boosted. Okay. Click on the APR boosted. You notice now all of a sudden it says 27.85% APR. Okay, we're ready to go. I understand. I can choose how tight I want my liquidity to run and so on and so forth, right? This is a stable coin pair. 
All right. So now I come down here, my deposit method. I'm going to do max. I'm going to max. I'm going to have a USDTO and a USDC.E LP pair. Add liquidity. Confirm. I'm getting in my wallet now a confirmation. I just confirm that. Up here it says added, add liquidity succeeded. You can view your transaction if you want to, or you can simply go up here and look at your pools. And so now I have added USTTO and USDC.E, $100. Now I'm in a position to start earning fees and I'm also in a position to start earning rewards. So just through those couple of simple steps, I took you from Coinbase with USDC, had you send it to the base chain from Coinbase wallet to your Bifrost wallet on the base chain. Then I took you over to Spark, or excuse me, took you over to Stargate and we swap from the base chain to the Flare USDC.E version, okay? Once we got it into the USDC.E, which is the Flare network, then we went back to SparkDex. And because we had $100, we looked at these pools. We went to farm. And we wanted to see what kind of pool we wanted to play in. And we wanted to play in the stable coin pools. USDTO and USDC, and that's paying 27.8% interest right now. And we clicked on view. We can see how many daily rewards it's paying, and it's paying out in our flare. And then we went to manage, and we decided we were going into a dual deposit over here. We wanted to make sure that you double check which tokens that dual deposit is made up of. So um, you'll see USDTO and then USDC.E are the two tokens that make up that dual deposit. It should always be that way if you go that particular method. It should always be that way. Um, USDTO, USDC. We paid attention to the fee tier. This is going to stay manual, by the way. The fee tier, make sure you select the APR boosted one. And you'll know that because you'll see what the APR is. All right. Um, we went with the full range strategy. And then we came over here and we clicked max for for the first one, which would max out both of those stable coins, what we have in our wallet. And then we clicked approve and swap or approved um, and added liquidity. And then it shows up over here, shows up how much money I put in there. So now I'm in a position where I can earn the 27.85%. And I showed you how to do that from Coinbase, going through Stargate, or you're bridging, going through Spark Dex, where you can swap so that you have an even number of tokens on both of those LP to oh, both of those pairs of LP tokens. And then we went to farm and we participated. Just for doing this, you're earning flare tokens. So you've taken your your hundred dollars of stable stable coins, which you can't lose your hundred dollars in stable coins because they're going to be they're, they're pegged to the dollar, and you went into an LP pool that's paying you twenty seven percent interest, and the interest they're paying you happens to be Flare tokens. That's how you do it. Now you are in the R Flare emissions uh, participation pool, and you will start earning, and uh, and every month, every month. When they start to pay out, when it's time to pay out, um, let me get my wallet here. Oh, great. Um, when it start to pay out our flare emissions every month, you will let's get this going here. Sorry, guys. Um, you will start earning emissions. You will go to emissions. And you will click down here. You'll go to Spark Decks, and you'll start to see where you've got some stuff to claim. Okay. All right. Let me know if you got questions, guys. I appreciate you as always. Um, we're going to start doing some more fundamental, simple stuff like this. I'll do another one. 
um, showing people how to buy flare tokens, how to take them over and how to wrap them, how to delegate, how to stake, etc. So we can start doing some basic stuff. Um, we're moving into a, a period of time where it's really important to make sure that we know how to participate in flare in the ecosystem. Uh, because once we get to XRPFI, um, well, it's going to be fun. So anyway, that's all I got, Fleur fam. I'm out. Thanks so much. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, share.